A memorial continues to grow in Moscow following the suspected death of Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin. Also growing is speculation over what happened and who may be involved in his death. Though there's no proof that Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin was on a plane that crashed in Russia, killing all 10 people on board. Western politicians and commentators, including Britain's prime minister, have suggested that he is likely dead, while others have also speculated that the Kremlin may be involved. We're obviously monitoring the situation very closely, working with our allies to establish uh, what happened. But the most important thing here is for Putin to end his illegal invasion of Ukraine, which is causing untold suffering to people. And we will continue to stand with Ukraine, support them so that they can resist that aggression from Russia. On Friday, the Kremlin spoke out on the accusations that Prigozhin had been killed on its orders and called the rumors an absolute lie while declining to confirm his death, citing the need to wait for test results. The speculation comes after Wagner's failed mutiny in June against Russia's top army brass. Putin at the time had called it a stab in the back. <laughs> Meantime, a group of Russian militants who fight on the Ukrainian side released a video where they called on the Wagner group of mercenaries to switch sides and join their ranks to avenge the death of their leader. The group also says it was behind several military attacks on Russian border regions. Analysts say the presumed death of Prigozhin will bring about a new set of challenges for Russia, saying Putin could lose strength in Ukraine. It will be interesting to see what happens uh, within the Putin regime now. Uh, and uh, obviously, Mr. Prigozhin had become quite a critic uh, of the operation, the special, what they call a special military operation in Ukraine. Um, it now does create some breathing room. The Kremlin says the cause of the crash is still under investigation. Melissa Nakavali, City News.